A new power is rising. Its victory is at hand. To war! Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking on Omega level in war number 10 or 11, depending on how you look at it. This is an alliance that we actually beat earlier this season, no doubt looking for their revenge. Team today is going to be Nick Fury, and Anti-Venom is going to be making his second appearance in Alliance War and rounding off the team with Corvus Glaive. we got nine fights to go through today. Whew, let's go. We're going to be starting out on path number one. Our first fight is a Miles on Node 4, Arc Overload and Vigorous Assault. Going to boost up uh, for the duration here. So, uh, of course, Miles will be unblockable at the start of the fight, so really the... Uh, the goal here is to just wait out the unblockable. My dex does fail here, right here, there. Uh, so I do take a combo. That sucks. I have to use a potion. So unblockable has worn off, which means my, my goal here is just to kill him before the unblockable comes back. Uh, Miles' health pool is really, really low. Uh, so it just takes a couple combos here from good old Nick Fury to uh, take him out. Nice little warm-up fight for the rest of the path. Down he goes. Next up, we have a Sorcerer Supreme on Masochism and Indomitable. It's a high ground opponent, of course. Just going to nuke her down again with Nick Fury. His bleeds are going to be doing a ton of the work here. Uh, so since she has a lower combat power rate, we're not going to be uh, having to worry about too many special attacks. And uh, as long as we stay aggressive and uh, dodge those special ones when she does throw them, we can pretty much keep the high ground in check. Um, I don't think we need Nick Fury for more than one or two more fights after this, so if we do need to pot him up, it's not a huge deal. Uh, we're also healing up from the debuffs that she's placing on us, which is really helping counter the high ground damage as well. And you can see just 25 hits and a special, and down she goes. Okay, this next fight was a little tricky here. We're going to use Corvus to avoid the shock damage from uh, Static Defense. You can see we're adding uh, some Cosmic Boosts and a Power Start 1 boost. The objective here is going to be to just survive long enough to get to our Special 2, which will be unblockable. We don't have to really worry about his armor up anyways, because as soon as we parry him, we're going to be applying the armor breaks. Uh, but a Special 2 and then uh, getting back up to a second Special 2 is basically going to end this fight here. So... Uh, we do kind of have to worry about high ground a little bit, but we're not going to be taking too many blocked hits as long as we successfully avoid that uh, that special one beam. Uh, there we go. So we're going to trigger Masochism, get an armor break up, special two, and he's just about dead. One more short combo and another special two, and down he goes. Easy peasy. All right, we are up on the uh, the shared mini here. This is Torch, another high ground defender. Just going to nuke him down here with Nick Fury. The bleeds on him will take care of any incinerates that we may end up on us. And as long as we can uh, properly evade the special one, we can avoid bubble shield and we can avoid getting um, smolder on him for blocking the special one. So trying to bait out this special one here. There we go. The shock damage is not too much. It's, you know, ticking for a hundred or so. But as long as we keep our, uh, our buffs in check from Dexing, it's really not going to be that much. So I think here we go. Two total shocks on us the entire fight, and Nick just absolutely destroys this fight. Pretty easy. Alright, up on Section 2, we have an Immortal A-Bomb on Node 30 with Vigor and Outlast. Gonna bring Anti-Venom here because he is poison immune. Uh, so just doing my standard combo, medium-heavy, medium-heavy, uh, and then I'm going to... I was planning on doing my special one there. However, I'm late on the special one punish here, and I get parried, so I do have to take... A uh, five hit combo to the face. Not a big deal because we will continue to heal up from the debuff, the petrified debuff that he's placing on us here. So, kind of have to restart the rotation here. Uh, we're sticking with medium and four lights to keep our selected debuff at Spectre since this is a regen path. We want maximum heal reversal. Blocking his specials, of course, as much as we can because that's how Anti Venom gains a lot of his power. And uh, basically just stick into to this rotation from here. So normally I bring Void and Warlock or one or the other to this path. Uh, so we would obviously need to have Warlock on this fight because of the poison immunity. Anti-Venom handles that. Warlock's damage though, not the greatest. And we have an Iron Man Infinity War on the buffet lane. So I wanted to take advantage of heal reversal here, which Anti-Venom has and Warlock does not. So I think for... For my needs in this particular war, Anti-Venom really is, is well suited for it. So you can see we're continuing to uh, to bait whatever special he decides to throw. We're just going to block it all. Uh, continuing to, again to throw these special ones. Not going to worry about the big burst damage in this particular fight. Since he doesn't have Indomitable, uh, we can safely reverse his healing here. And a uh, couple, uh, couple more combos here. 
I think we need to bait out just one more special two. Uh, and then we actually are going to end the fight here with a big, big special two here. So here we go. One hit and two and moving on. All right, we got a Dr. Doom here on no node 40, Buffet and Indomitable. Anti-Venom essentially designed specifically to counter Doom. So uh, we're going to stick with the Spectre debuffs uh, just so until we can get uh, his healing uh, stopped. It won't be reversed, of course. You can see again, this, this Doom is running suicide, so he's more or less going to be killing himself here. Blocking the Special 1, it's not unblockable because we have the Petrify up from Special 1. I do make a really silly mistake here in a minute or so. Um, I try and end the fight with a special two, but I did not notice that my Petrify debuff had fallen off and that he actually did have that aura of Hazarath uh, still up right here. So Unblockable failed, but he still gets the aura. And I'm like, all right, let's, let's end this fight with one big special two. So I toss it, get a nice 5k hit, but then he resists and gives me a 20k heavy to the face. I'm like, uh, well, that's a, that's annoying. You know, a stupid mistake. Just going to cost me a couple potions, but, you know, the fight is pretty much over at that point anyways. All right, we're going to heal up Anti-Venom. Next up, we have an Iron Man Infinity War on node 46. Strike counter power rate, buffet, Chitinous Thorns. Chitinous Thorns doesn't come into play here because he has passive armors and non-armor buffs. Um, so I'm not entirely sure, but I am pretty sure that Anti-Venom regens the high ground block damage. I'm going to have to do the math on it. Um, but so since this node does not have indomitable, we're again going to go for our specter debuffs uh, And then we can we can reverse a large chunk of the healing via buffet um, So just got to be careful not to take hits uh, I'm also since this is a high ground opponent. I'm not going to take blocked hits if I don't need to uh, So you notice that I'm still dodging the blast from his special one here um, I'm using my my blocked hits uh, you know, to try and get a repair off so Doing pretty well. Again, we're going to stick to just the special ones here. The Petrify will help with his power gain at the end of the fight. And uh, we can reverse that last, you know, 10-15% or so. And uh, get some heavies off to finish him off. So, already halfway through the fight. Uh, we're keeping his high ground charges pretty much in check. He's had one. I don't think he's gotten to two this entire fight. He might, he might here uh, before we can get another one. So... You can see our health is really, you know, not even any any sort of concern at this point. Um, just regening slowly all of that block damage. Uh, you can see we got a nice big chunk of, of reverse healing from Buffet there. Got to be careful not to get auto-blocked here, so I'm being very mindful of my combos. Uh, watching out for when we get really close to that magical percentage where Iron Man will, uh, will punish you for it. Uh, so right here, all right, we, we've dropped below the uh, the threshold there, <clears throat> so we're going to try and repair in heavy here, and there we go, and I think one more heavy should do the trick. He gets enough power for maybe two more special ones here. Uh, there we go, let's block that one. Didn't even have to really worry about the the strike counter power rate right here. We got enough power to, to do what we need. There we go. Down he goes. Now we're up on Boss Island. We got a Mordo on Node 50 here. Not really sure what's up with this placement. We are going to use an Invulnerability Boost just in case he gets to that Special 3, which is really the only point that he could possibly become unblockable here. Uh, other than that, you know, since it's Safeguard, we're going to rely on Nick Fury's Bleeds to uh, to get him down. Uh, there is um, a one point in this fight. He actually tosses the Special 1 with his Power Gain up, which I definitely was not expecting. Um, so I, you know, it, I, I'm saved kind of by the invulnerability boost, but I do get the degen uh, ticking on me for a little bit. But you know, this is the this is the last fight that we need Nick for, so I'm not really worried about taking the hit. Plus, we still have the second life if we need it. Not really in any sort of danger here. You can see that uh, Mordo does have a little bit of Mystic Dispersion. It looks like maybe four levels right there. He had the uh, he's supposed to be in the passive phase. Throws the special one anyway. Uh, whatever. So, uh, baiting out the special two, and he's just about dead. Uh, special two does not stun him, which is fine. Uh, we couldn't hit into him anyways if he was stunned. And, uh, just, uh, kind of playing out the rest of the fight here. Again, I don't really know what's up with this placement at all. Uh, really, really easy fight with Nick Fury. Okay, last fight of the war, we got a Magneto here on node 49. Now I'm going to pause the video here in a second, because I want to talk about this fight a little bit before I start it. So, Anti-Venom... 
well suited for this particular fight because he is both poison and incinerate immune of course also really good because he can turn off magneto's unstoppable since the node has stun immunity you can't really bait out heavies from magneto because he's unstoppable if you get enough decelerates up you can actually turn that ability off alternatively what you can do is with an invulnerability boost you can actually attack into his first heavy which will disable it for 14 seconds and then allow you enough time to get your decelerates up but either way uh, you can pretty much counter everything that Magneto has going on in this fight. So let's uh, let's roll the video. Alright, so we're going to opt to do a couple intercepts here rather than intentionally tank a hit. I went for an intercept in there, it didn't work. Uh, so we're basically going to wait out here, catch him on the backdraft, switching our debuff to disorient there, that's fine. We're actually going to get a disorient up before we can get any decelerate supply, which is also fine. Alright, we've, we've successfully switched to dis um, decelerate. Now we're going to special intercept him with a special one here. Again, we're going to be blocking his specials here to uh, gain more power. You can actually counter and punish the special just by blocking it, which is really nice. You don't have to, you know, spend too much time far away from Magneto here. Again, this guy's also running suicides as well, which is, you know, a little disappointing. I would have, I would have preferred to have, like, a, uh, a little bit of a tougher fight, but recoil is going to do, you know, a lot of damage here, so... All right, we have three decelerates up. So you actually see when he when he does try a heavy, the unstoppable is not going to trigger. Um, the fight is pretty much in hand at this point here because we can. There we go. Heavy, no unstoppable. You can safely counter in, and at that point, like without access to his unstoppable, Magneto is pretty much a joke on this node. So I do take one hit right at the end of the fight here. I'm going to attempt to block this hit from the special one. The block doesn't work. And I take the hit. The fight is over anyways, so it doesn't really matter. Overall, really happy with how Anti-Venom performed in war. We did end up getting the victory. Nine kills, zero deaths. We are eight and two for the season. Not sure if I'll be uploading uh, the next war or not. We'll see how it goes. I, I typically stay away from, from war content on the channel, as you guys know. If you guys enjoyed this regardless, please uh, hit that like button. Subscribe for more stuff later. And as always, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again next time.